Good morning to Jay. I hope that you're all working hard and staying safe. I thought this week I'd come and record another video reading your book. I was so happy to see that so many of you watched the video last week. I saw all of your comments and it really made me so happy to see those comments. I hope you're all doing your best and staying safe at home. So here's our next book. It's called Dinosaurs in Space. Let's see how it goes. Long ago, dinosaurs ruled the Earth. Some think a giant rock fell from outer space and wiped out all of the dinosaurs, but they were wrong. Here's what really happened. They put on some of their helmets. They traveled up into outer space and they became dinosaurs in space. Now this book is called Salad vs. Burgers. Let's see what it's about. In the space dinosaur galaxy, there are two main planets, Planet Lettuce and Planet Meatball. I wonder which one you would like to live on there. The dinosaurs on Planet Lettuce eat nothing but salad all day long. Mmm, needs more ranch dressing. The dinosaurs on Planet Meatball eat nothing but burgers all day long. Triple patty with extra bacon, just the way I like it. No, no. The dinosaurs from each planet don't like one another very much. Salad weirdos, burger brains, grrr. Now it seems like these two planets of dinosaurs don't like each other at all, so let's see what happens. On a small asteroid between the two planets sits the only restaurant in the dino solar system. Can we get some extra croutons please? You got it, bub. Look at those stinking salad eaters. Why don't you guys make like a head of lettuce and leaf? <laughs> Good one, Russ. Why don't you meat eaters go and stuff a bun in it? You tell them, Tracy. You plant eaters go climb a tree. <laughs> Alright, you asked for it. Now it looks like they've started a food fight. Let's see what happens on this page. Hey, hey, hey! Cut it out! If you knuckleheads can't behave, I'm throwing all of you out on your scaly tails! <clears throat> Dumb meatheads! Stupid tree faces! <clears throat> Ding! Who is that guy? I don't know. Where did he come from? Must be new to the galaxy. Haven't seen your kind here before. I'm Gatsby. I flew across two galaxies to try this place out. So what's it gonna be? Hmm, how about a burger with extra lettuce, please? What? Now it seems like all of the dinosaurs in the restaurant are confused because he ordered a burger which has meat on it, but then added lettuce. So he's sort of getting both when there's only the two planets in that solar system that either have just plants or just meat. So let's see what happens now. Here you are, bub. Yummy, yummy. Excuse me, can I help you guys? You're eating a gross burger with your lettuce? You're eating disgusting lettuce with your burger? Well, I happen to eat both plants and meat, and this tastes really good. But how can you be both an awesome meat eater and a smelly plant eater too? Hey, you meat eaters are the smelly ones. Wait, let me get this straight. You guys hate each other because of what you eat? Um, yeah. Ha! That's got to be the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Have you guys ever tried a burger, not even a veggie burger? Mm, um, no, nope, no, nah. And have you guys ever tried salad? No, ugh, nah, uh, uh. Chef, please get everyone a space cow burger with extra lettuce, veggie burgers for the plant eaters. It's on me. You got it. Let's see what happens after this. I'm having a lot of fun with the robot voice. Dinner is served!
Wowza! I say, oh, man, the lettuce adds a nice crunch. These burgers are quite tasty. Who knew? Hey, who knows what else you guys might like? Hmm. Well, I like playing basketball. Me too. We should shoot some hoops. My favorite video game is Extreme Awesome Quest 7. Have you played level 9 yet? It's so hard. I like to paint paintings of bowls of salad. I paint volcanoes myself. We should totally paint together sometime. Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah, ooh, ah, ee. So it seems like they've found lots of things in common and they might stop fighting now. So let's see what happens from now on. From that day on, the plant eaters and meat eaters worked, played, and lived together. They got along so well that the dinosaurs from Gatsby's planet, Planet Tofu, moved their planet closer to the other two. Now there's three planets there. At the end of every day, all the dinosaurs made up at the big comet for dinner. Angie, would you pass the ketchup, please? What? I only use mustard. Ketchup stinks. <laughs> Just kidding. Here you are, buddy. Ooh, we have a new chapter now. It's called Scary Aliens from Another Planet. Let's see what this chapter's about now. No fear, you're too tall. Make way for Captain Dunk. Pass it to me. I'm open. I'm open. Bruno, Ross, Terry, help! I... I What's wrong, Al? Spit it out, dude. I... I saw... An alien! <gasps> no way! They're just made up! There's no such thing as aliens. I saw it with my own eyes. It's on the next planet over. Oh yeah? Then what did it look like? It, it was the most ugly, horrible, scariest thing I've ever seen, ever. Oh, the alien had teeny weeny body and a giant head. And, and on each hand it had five claws. And its skin was all shiny and silver. It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen my whole life. We have to go check it out. Yeah, we need, we need to let it know it's in the dino solar system. Yeah, do, do I have, do we have to? You coming now? Uh, okay, oh man, I think it was over this way. There it is. We've got to move in closer so we can see what this thing really is. Oh jeez, I don't know if this is such a good idea. Shh. Ah! Huh? Ah! Ah! Get in the space shop. Wow! It was so weird looking. I know, right? Commander, come in. I just encountered aliens. I swear, they look just like dinosaurs in spacesuits. I think you've been up there way too long. This next chapter is called The Great Space Race. <sighs> Mission log, about to take my first steps ever on this planet and... <laughs> I claim this planet for space dinosaurs everywhere. Oh man, Stuart, I totally beat you on being the first on this rock. Jeez, Tyrone, not everything is race, you know. <sighs> You're no fun. I am too fun. I just don't need to make a race out of every little thing. Whoa, it's a little bit lighter here. Mm, I bet I can jump higher than you. We have work to do. Yeah! Look how high I can jump. Tyrone, can you come back down here at once? No can do, buddy. <laughs> awesome. Dude, hop on over here. It's fun. I'm not doing this to goof around. I'm doing this as part of a serious scientific research. Oof. <laughs> 
perfect landing. Check it out. A whole chain of small planets. We should totally have a race to the end. We'll jump from planet to planet. It sounds dangerous. And what if, on your mark, get set, go! Try and keep up, Slowpoke. Wahoo! I'm going to regret doing this. Eat my moon dust. You'll never beat me. Ha ha! You're going to have to do better than that, dude. <sighs> Seems like he's a bit tired. Darn it! I'm a scientist, not an athlete. <sighs> Wahoo! Better hurry up. I'm almost at the last planet. Tyrone, watch out! You're jumping right next to a, a black hole! Huh? A black what? A black hole! If you get too close, it'll suck you in! You'll never be seen again! Take a chill pill, dude! Whoa, uh oh! Uh oh! Ah! Stuart, help! Hold on, pal! I'm coming! Grab onto my tail! With these teeny weeny arms? Just do it! Oh, great idea, man. Now we'll both disappear forever. You so sure about that? <coughs> Jetpacks? Awesome! <sighs> Thanks, Stuart. You really saved my tail. True. You have to be more careful. Not everything is a race. Okay, I will. Come on, let's head home. It's almost time for dinner. Oh. And since I was the only one to actually set foot on the last planet, I won the race. So, I'm the winner. World shoot. Come on, Tyrone. Let's grab some grub at the big comet diner. Winner pays. Ha! And that's the end of the book, you two. I hope that you enjoyed this one. Watch like the ones that you enjoyed last week. Let me know if there's any books that you need or if there's any help that you need from your learning from home packs. I miss you all and I hope that we can get back to school as soon as possible. Have a great day and great week. Bye.